Hi everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can automatically shut down your Windows 10 PC if it's been idle for too long. We're going to do this with a scheduled task. So go ahead and open the task scheduler and click create task in this column on the left. In the create task window, enter a name for the task and then select this option here called run with highest privileges. And finally, you want to open this drop down here called configure for and then set it to Windows 10. We're done with this tab, move on to the Triggers tab and click the New button at the bottom to add a new trigger. Now here you want to set the task to begin on a schedule. And once you've set it to run on a schedule, you have to select Daily so that it runs every day. And set the start time to run at 12 a.m. You don't need to do anything about the date, you're creating it now and you want it to run from this point forward. Next, under the Recur Every Days option, you want to enter 1. And finally, there's this option up here called Synchronize Across Time Zones. Enable that. Click OK and now you need to move to the Actions tab. Click this new button down here and add a new action. And here under the Program and Script box, you have to enter Shutdown. And make sure there is no space between Shut and Down. It has to be a single word. And the last thing you need to do is go to the Conditions tab. Here you need to select the option called start the task only if the computer is idle for. Once you enable this option, you get these two time fields and the time that's given in these fields is preset. You can't change it, you have to select one of the preset time values here. So go ahead and select it to whatever you think is an appropriate amount of time after which your system should be shut down. I'm going to go with one hour, click OK and that is going to do the trick. Now I should warn you that this task is going to run and it is going to shut your system down. It is not going to check for any unsaved work on your desktop. So make sure you either save all the work that's on your desktop before you leave or make sure you're using apps that have an auto backup option. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.